In this video, let's see an important property or you say an important formula or an important question which is usually asked in the exams and is used in solving the other questions. The question is sin inverse of 1 by x is equal to cosecant inverse of x. We already know from our junior classes knowledge that sine and cosecant are basically the reciprocals of each other. That means if sine 30 degrees, if sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2, cosecant 30 degrees will be what? Cosecant 30 degrees will be 2 upon 1 that is 2. We already know this. Now if sine and cosecant are inverses of each other, what about sine inverse and cosecant inverse? So you have to learn this and we'll be proving this so as to make you understand more clearly that yes sine inverse 1 by x is equal to cosecant inverse x wherein the condition for x is what? x is belonging to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity which we have already seen in cosecant case. Right. Now let the proof is somewhat like this. Let cosecant inverse x is equal to theta. If cosecant inverse x is equal to theta, what do you mean by that? It means x is equal to cosecant theta. And if x is equal to cosecant theta, what do I have? I have basically cosecant theta's reciprocal as sin theta, x reciprocal as 1 by x. So it becomes 1 by x is equal to sin theta. And if 1 by x is equal to sin theta, I have theta is equal to sin inverse 1 by x. That is what we wanted to prove. What was theta? Theta was taken as cosecant inverse x. So I replace the value again cosecant inverse x. That means sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosecant inverse x. First thing. The second thing if cosecant inverse x is equal to theta that means what? That means my angle should be such that I should not have 0 in the denominator. You know that if I have 0 in the denominator that means sin 0 is 0 cosecant 0 is what 1 upon sin 0 which is not defined. So I need to take care that my theta is such that 0 is not there. So in case of cosecant inverse x is equal to theta my theta is what my theta belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 both included but I cannot include 0. Why can I not include 0? Because if 0 is included, 1 upon sin 0 will be 1 upon 0 which is not defined. Also, I know that my x belongs to what? Minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. So in case of x, the interval is given to me. But one, what about 1 by x? So my 1 by x would belong to minus 1 to 1 because it is the case of sine. But again 0 is not included because denominator becomes 0, the things are not defined. So my 0 won't be included. You can also place 0 not in this bracket but in a bracket called as curly bracket. Both are fine, both the things are correct. So the video had the motive to prove sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosecant inverse x. This is an important property which you need to remember as such. Proof I have already done. In the next video, we will be seeing the next important property whose proof we are going to see but it is actually very much important as a question itself.